Hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well, uh, as always. It's all the general hope for most people in the world from me is that they're doing just as well as possible. Um, my name's Katie. I'm glad you're here. Today we have a fun one. It is the Ear Fleek Makeup Challenge. Always a fun one. Really excited. Um, if you're unfamiliar with, with this uh, genre of video here, um, I get Ear Fleek, which is a monthly earring subscription. It's $3.75. A month you get a pair of earrings you can choose from three different like styles that they'll send you um you can also play like a little tinder game where you say yes to this one no to that one that type of stuff um so far i've only gotten earrings that i know that i remember distinctly like saying yes to in the tinder game so i think uh, they do or i'm just lucky they do tend to follow that as far as i can tell as far as i can tell but uh so i open these up I share, I share the earrings that I get with you, and then I do my makeup, try to match the earrings, just to add some extra pizzazz, because uh, otherwise it's just a pair of earrings, as fun as they tend to be. So if that sounds good, you're in the right place, because that's where we're going next. So let me prime my eyes, zoom you in a little bit, um, and I feel like my secret's been revealed. I film on a phone, so it's just me getting physically closer. I zoom a little, <laughs> but I'll open these up. Uh, we'll take a look. And I'll, we'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. All right. All right. All right, we're closer. Um, I've primed with the Etude House Proof Tin Eye Primer. Um, I really like this. Um, I also use the Urban Decay. Not infrequently, and I think I like that one a little bit better. But as you can see, it doesn't really like... If you like something that's going to cover your eye veins and stuff, not that one. Um, but anyway... Here we go, up close. Uh, my skin's been super bad lately, so I do want to shout out uh, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation for all the work it's doing today. Um, so, all right, so here we are. We're close. Let's see what we've got. It comes in a little thing like that. Let's open it up. All right, so they always come in these little pink baggies, the organza. I don't know if that's what they're called. Oh, they're not in their little, usually they're in, they're, they get stuck in this little thing to protect them, I suppose, but. They fell out. All right. Uh, very cute. It is these. So this month, I have. I don't know if it's doing a good job, but these little lightning bolt storm clouds. I suppose they're thunder clouds if there's lightning, right? I don't know. But super cute. Uh, I would say this is typical. Typical little ear flick earring, right? Just cute. Um, there are two of them. You do get two. So let me put one in, and let me go, I'll be right back. I'm going to go look and see what makeup I want to pull out for this. Okay, I'm here. Um, in my assuming, uh, assuming you didn't go anywhere since it wasn't that long. Let me tell you, let me show you what I've pulled up. Um, so I was thinking, oh, it's black, right, but I, I don't do black that much. Um, there is... A really pretty, like dark deep purple in this. Uh, this is a Florida Kalahari. Ooh, that's an that's an angle of me. Um, there we go. That's better for my mental health. Um, so yeah, there's that really deep shiny purple in there that I uh, haven't really used that much. Be fun to play with. Um, and then I was thinking with for the lightning bolts, maybe some metallic gold situation might be fun. Um, so I have. The Master Metallics Makeup by Mario. I thought this gold is really uh, fun. Both of the golds in here are actually pretty fun. Um, let me, I'll show you both of them. So these are the two golds. This is the one on the top row. This is the one farther down. Right. I mean, they're, they're good. This one is this one. The one on the top row is especially like just a nice, classic, very high-quality yellow gold. So I was thinking that. And then I also thought I have two little color pops here. That I think might work together, um, and it is the of quartz and uh, little ray of sunshine. And my gosh, I cannot tell you how annoying it is that these two are just not, not quite the same size. Um, just I don't know what it is. Uh, so the the little ray of sunshine is the tiny pans, but it's the yellow. I was thinking this yellow kind of lines up. Just digging my nails into this. 
this yellow kind of lines up with that. So I thought it might be fun to pull like that yellow in. And then um, of quartz, which is the same format, just, just that much bigger. <laughs> Why? Um, but I thought this might be fun to use like these dark, like kind of gray thunder cloudy colors. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with this. Oh, okay. I have an idea. You'll see it executed, I guess. Uh, uh, disclaimer, before I get started actually putting eye makeup on my face. Not in any way talented. Not in any way is this a tutorial. Uh, it's just for us all to have fun. Have fun together. So we, let me scooch even more in and then uh, we'll, get, we'll get going. We'll get going. All right. Here we are. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go in with this, uh, this kind of, not the matte sparkle shade. Is that, that's the thing, it's a matte sparkle. It's hard to tell a color pump what's like a matte sparkle, what's a, um, what's a metallic, what's a, anything. Um, this is definitively a matte, and I'm going to go in with that. And I think I'm going to create like a nice kind of soft, not that soft, storm cloud shape on my eye. And hopefully you'll see what I mean. And hopefully I'll see also what I mean. So let's just let me just let me demonstrate by doing. That's what a demonstration is. Oh my god. Okay, just a minute. Bear with me. All right, so that's what I'm thinking. This brush also definitely had sparkle in it. Um, so now I'm going to like connect them and maybe bring it down a little and just make it more of a shape instead of four blobs. I don't know. Wish me luck. All right, how do we feel about that? I'm not too concerned with like the edges of the shape being super clean because it's like supposed to be a cloud, I guess, and clouds are not, I mean, maybe they, they can be, I guess. Um, it's supposed to be a little fluffy is what I'm going for. Also, what my talent allows for. Um, so that's uh, great that that works out, right? Definitely not a plan on my part. There was definitely some type of sparkle in this brush. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. It's what I've done, um, and I don't know what I'm going to do for, like, the mobile lid yet. Um, but let me just do this on the other eye. We'll see if it's, if it's not even, it's on purpose. All right, there we go. I actually feel like it's cute. Maybe it's not. I don't know. This is how I felt about like the bunny rabbit ear ones where that was, got kind of a little maybe wild. And then I was looking and then I watched and I'm like, that's a lot. But in this moment right now, I kind of, I kind of like it. Um, I think what I like about it, I'm like trying to look at it, um, is the fact that the mobile lid is way lighter. It, you can kind of like a 60s vibe, right? In the line across, but with like a fun shape. So I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, right? I don't, know you can, I don't know if you can hear it. There's ruckus going on outside. Just a minute. All right. So what I think I'm going to do is I also like that this is matte. So I'm not going to do shimmer. I'm going to go in with this right here. This is, by the way, 
CO. And this one is uh, opaque. I don't know if that matters. It's not like they're being sold as singles. So. Anyway, going in with this light gray, I'm just going to kind of try to define the crease. Um, I don't really feel like doing like a crazy actual cut crease situation that's technically proficient. Um, and again, am I able to? I don't know, but I'm not doing anything great. I'm just going in with the brush and the shadow. I feel like that, just kind of clean it up, and then I'm just tapping, and it's a blend. Less so on the inner corner, more so on the outer corner. All right, uh, repeat, rinse, repeat, minus the rinse in. Alrighty, I'm kind of digging it, kind of digging it. Um, all right, so now this is where we'll really make or break it. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in and incorporate this nice bright yellow. It is called. I don't have my glasses on, so this is like kind of hard. Sunnies. I'm pretty sure it's also a very pale white whitish yellow like a pale yellow background and then the writing is also yellow or a white jeez louise what is going on anyway uh pretty sure it's sunny's it's this one in the middle all right so i'm going to take my brush get the yellow again this one and it's just a um little like angled linery brush i'm going to do my bottom lash line yellow and I think I'm going to take a wing like from my bottom lash line kind of up into the clouds clouds that that thing that's going on right and then we'll see um <laughs> I'm going to um you know how like watch watch you know how sometimes people do that cute little like second eyelash on the bottom i'm gonna do that but make it a lightning bolt does it translate you let me know doing it to the other side now Ta-da. Um, I don't know if it's translating. I think this might work better with a uh, like a cake liner, but I don't have a yellow cake liner. No. Um, no. You know what? Uh, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can find something. All right, I'm back. No yellow liner to be found. Um, I used to have a really great marigold ColourPop uh, cream gel liner, and it was the yellow from the Raw Beauty Christie collab, and it dried out so quick, which is unfortunate because it, I very much liked it, um, and I cannot get another. Uh, but what do you? What can you do? Um, but here, just a minute. All right, I'm sticked. Um, but I did get a shiny, shiny. Um, this one because I did want like a metallic and I thought this is a great one I don't know if you can really see but like it has it's like really you just watch it um, but this is hopefully it'll show up in this watch but uh, I need to get it out of here this is oak ochre uh, by Cleona and it's a really pretty gold but also like lime green uh, and also in certain lights, like it's got some orange. It's just really, it's just really cool. Um, and I know you're thinking, Katie, that looks like those other 
golds that you had to have known. This one's different if you look at them next to each other. So, um, I did just get um, a Terra Moons order in, and I do, do think I bought another one of those shades. So it's so hard to tell online. Um, I'm going to do a, 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 like, organizing my singles video uh, soon, so you know, get to see at least. But I think I'm going to go over this yellow with ochre. Uh, and we'll see if that ups the impact or just makes it look dumb. You know what, let me spray my brush. See, yeah, kind of cool, right? Like the little flash. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You let me know. I'm gonna bring it also into the inner corner. Yeah. All right. On the other side. Kind of fun. Um, yeah, kind of fun. <laughs> what else can you say? Um, I think I'm going to go in and darken my lash line a little bit, like just like tight line with uh, the same dark shade. Um, yeah, just to, is to up the impact there because we got a lot going down. Uh, all right, uh, tight lined a little. I think I'm going to, I'm trying to think if I want to do anything on the waterline. Um, I don't know, let me see what I have. I think I'm just going to, if I had the yellow, I'd do that. But I think I was going to do, uh, this is Honey Dude. All right, uh, there we go. I think I'm going to not do mascara, just because this is a little more uh, <laughs> editorial. Um, sometimes I feel like mascara can take away from that. Um, just because, like, mascara looks like you're trying to look good. And that's, I don't want anyone to think that. Um, so, yeah, let me... Brush my brows up though and put on some blush. Um, I wish I had a yellow blush right now. That's what I'm wishing. But no. Um, yeah, let me let me put on some blush. And then I'll brush up my brows. Maybe I'll throw on a lip. We'll just have to see. You'll just have to see where I end up in a little bit. Alright, so here's the final look. How do we feel? I think it's kind of fun to like flash of the shiny. I ended up going for like a really pink blush. Um, this is Puff Cloud Paint. Um, just because I thought we're not going to have yellow. Why not? I thought I thought like pink and yellow go well together. Um, and then I um, put on this yellow lip gloss. This is the Copacetic Cosmetics Plumping One shade. This Thunderbolt. That's from the most recent cutie box. Um, and I really like it. It plumps pretty well, I think. Um, any kind of lightning -y, thunderbolt it all it made sense to me um anyway i actually kind of feel cute if i wouldn't if i ever need to be like a rain cloud for halloween or something um let me know what you think uh what would you have done would you do uh, yeah just let me know i'm always interested to, to see if anyone's um doing this there are other people doing this uh if like makeup challenge like search for that if this is the type of stuff you um and thank you for hanging out. Uh, like the video and subscribe if you're so inclined. Uh, you can just check back here if you want uh, to keep hanging out that way. Whatever works for you. I'm just glad you you made it to the end here. And uh, I appreciate you watching and spending your time on this. Because uh, I like spending my time on it. Uh, and with that, I'll let you go. It's the end of a Zoom call, it feels like. Bye.